Welcome to Olomots, the hidden gem of Czechia. Today, I'll take you on an unforgettable tour through this charming city, filled with history, stunning architecture, and a dash of humor. So lace up your walking shoes and let's get started. Our journey begins at the iconic Holy Trinity Column, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the pride of Olomots. Towering above the main square, this majestic Baroque monument was built in the 18th century to commemorate the city's survival during various plagues and wars. You might be wondering why there's a statue of a guy with a hat on top. Well, that St. John of Nepomuk, the patron saint of Drownus, seems fitting, considering how he's surrounded by fountains. As we stroll through the narrow cobblestone streets, you'll notice the astronomical clock. Not as famous as Prague's, but it's a beauty nonetheless. You might even catch it chiming the hour with a quirky dance of apostles. Legend has it that it once got so fed up with people being late that it tried to run away to a more punctual town. Luckily, the townsfolk caught it before it made its grand escape. Next up, the Olomotes Town Hall with its lofty tower beckons us. Climb to the top for a breathtaking view of the city. The town hall itself has seen some wild times. Did you know it used to host bear fights in the Middle Ages? Imagine settling your disputes by watching bears duke it out. A bear-wise strange way to handle justice, don't you think? From the town hall, we'll make our way to the Archdiocesan Museum, where you can dive into Olomotz's ecclesiastical history. It houses a treasure trove of religious art, but keep an eye out for the odd piece that seems a bit heavenly. Some angels have a mischievous glint in their eyes. Now, prepare to be amazed by the St. Wenceslas Cathedral the grandest Gothic cathedral in Moravia. The twin spires dominate the skyline and act as a welcome beacon for all lost tourists. They're the tallest in the city. Inside, you'll find stunning frescoes and a captivating atmosphere. Keep your eyes peeled for the mysterious black cat. Rumor has it that it brings good luck to anyone who spots it. As our stomachs start to growl, let's head to a local eatery for some delicious Czech cuisine. I recommend trying. Tvaruzki, the notorious smelly cheese of Olomots. Don't worry, the taste is way better than the smell, and hey, it's a great icebreaker with locals. With our energy restored, we'll head to the Olomots Castle and the captivating Archbishop's Palace. The castle's gardens offer a serene escape from the city bustle, and the palace boasts stunning Rococo architecture, a perfect spot for some royally good selfies. Last but not least, we'll finish our journey at the sprawling Bizruk Park, a tranquil green oasis where you can relax and reflect on the wonders of Olomots. Fun fact, the park is named after Petr Bizruk, a famous Czech poet. Legend has it that if you recite one of his poems three times while touching the park's oldest tree, a friendly squirrel will grant you a lifetime of good luck and endless acorns. And there you have it, my fellow adventurers— an exhilarating tour of Olomots that blends history, architecture, and a healthy dose of humor. I hope you enjoyed this delightful exploration of the city's hidden treasures. Until we meet again, farewell and may your travels be filled with joy and laughter.